Good day and welcome to My Back Step. Today on a My Back Step video, we're in the kitchen. I am taking part in the November Soup Spectacular collaboration. For my video, for this collaboration, I will be doing a potato soup. Now the recipe is a, a little bit long. Here is what you're going to need to start making your potato soup. Okay, so for this you're going to need two chicken broths, your cheese grater, you're going to need fresh milk, cornstarch or flour for a thickener, of course your potatoes, cheese, which is right here, sour cream, onions, ham, measuring cups, uh, butter, and this is green onion that's already been chopped and frozen. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is get the bacon in the frying pan and get that cooking out. Now make sure that when you fry and render out your bacon you keep all of the grease. Don't get rid of none of it because everything is going to get used. Now while the bacon is frying out, the next thing you want to do is start start getting your potatoes done. Now with your potatoes, what you're going to want to do is cut them, cut them down into little cubes. Oh, you're going to want a good few potatoes. I think it's, it works out to be around five cups of potatoes. So I usually just judge it by when this bowl is about half full to three quarters full. Now that I got my potatoes peeled, I'm going to make sure you give them a good wash and get out as much of the starch as that you can. without losing them. You can see the bacon is coming along. You're going to want a decent sized pot to put this in because what you need to do next is you want to add your two containers of chicken broth and Your rinsed potatoes will all go in the pot together. Now this pot's going to go on on high heat until it starts to boil, then you're going to reduce the heat back to say 70 and uh, let the potatoes cook. Once the potatoes are cooked, that's when you're going to start putting in all of your other ingredients. Now, while that's going, we're going to get our onions ready, we're going to chop up our ham, grate our cheese, and we will have all of that stuff ready to go into the pot as it's needed and as we add it. Now, while I'm waiting on the potatoes to cook, you get about three large onions, they need to be chopped up and put into the bacon grease. Onions always makes me cry. <laughs> mm. 
Okay guys, the, the pot is starting to boil with the potatoes in it, so we'll just reduce the heat a little bit on it and continue to boil it. The onions are frying out. While the onions are frying out, I'm going to get two of these packages of ham. There's about a pound of ham here, but what we're going to do is cut the, the brine off the ham, and we're not going to put that in the soup. Like I said, what you want to do is cut off the outer edge because there's usually a little bit of rind on there. Now, you, you could leave it in if you wanted to. It's not going to make that big of a difference. But for me, for my personal tastes, I like to cut it off. Okay, now the onions are starting to brown up. This is where I'm going to take them off. This is this is browned up enough. You don't need them to be all. They don't need to all look like this. But as they start turning, they soften up because it still has to go in the soup. So every bit of that is getting raised. Now what I've done now is I've put the onions back on the heat, let them heat up because I've got the rest of my prep ready here. You're going to take corn starch, now you can use flour to do this too, but corn starch works just as good. Just want to make sure you get all of the corn starch liquefied. Now, to your onions, you're going to want to add about, it's, it's very rough measurements, but it's about a half a cup of butter. And you can use real butter or margarine or whatever your pre preference is. To that then, you add two cups of milk, it's like 16 ounces, so we got one, two, let it heat up, let it get nice and hot again. Once this starts to heat again, you can add in your cornstarch and keep stirring. Now, if you let this get really hot, it will thicken instantly. You can see it's thickening up there already. This is going to get really thick, so keep stirring it. Don't let it stick on, don't let it burn. Once it fully thickens, or just about fully thickens, take it off of the heat and let that sit. Now we got our potatoes boiling. We're going to add two cups of milk to the potatoes.
Then we're gonna throw in our, our thickening mixture, our roux, whatever you want to call it. Give it a good mix up. This is where the whisk comes in real handy. That's still going to thicken a little bit in the pot. And if not, we can always make another bit and add to it afterwards. Depending on how thick you actually want it. Next thing we're going to add is the whole container. This is a 250 milliliter container of sour cream. So we're going to go ahead and put the whole works of that in. As that's cooking out, you're going to want to add some black pepper. Now, as this is heating, you're going to want to add the cheese. A little bit at a time and give it a good mix. Now that the cheese is all fully melted, you can add in the ham and bacon. Give that a real good mix up. And lastly, you're going to want about one bunch of chopped green onions. Now, fresh is better, but the frozen is okay as well. Some people call them green onions, some people call them scallions. It's a mixture of green onion too. Now you want to leave this on the heat for maybe 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes. That gives the ham and the bacon and the green onion the chance to let the flavors go through the soup and let the soup go through the bacon and the ham. Um, after that, it's just take it up and enjoy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, all that's left to do now is to wait the 20 minutes and then we'll do a taste testing on it. Uh, the recipe will be in the link in the description below. And I hope everybody has a great day and let's see what soups you guys come up with. Because this is a good one. Alright guys, this has been sitting for about half an hour on really low heat. You have to constantly keep stirring it because if not, uh, it will thicken a lot more on the bottom than it does on the top, so it's at risk for burning on. So keep stirring it every couple of minutes or so until roughly a half an hour, and then you're good to go. Well, here we go, guys. Well, here we go, guys. Potato soup time.
Now, I would rather don't. I would rather have the flour and use a uh, fresh green onion. It would taste a little better. This was the first time I used the cornstarch in it, so it makes a little bit different taste if you use flour to make your roux rather than the cornstarch. But it, it still came out really good. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope some of you try it. And I hope it comes out just as good as it did for me. Thank you everyone and I will catch you all on the next one.